our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds. 34-year-old Mamoon against 31-year-old Francis. Francis with a five-inch reach advantage. It's time to fight. The Southpaw, Mohammed Mamoun, the problem in the red trunks, representing Panama, Cesar Francis, the Rain Man. We've got a lot of right handed versus Southpaw yeah. matchup tonight. And this is a good fight for the contender series because these two guys are 31 and 34. They're at a point where they've got to make it or break it. And you can't ask for a better opportunity. But they got great opportunity in front of them right now. Somebody has to take this opportunity and somebody got to not take the opportunity. We'll see what happens. And when you're in a 50-50 fight, right, you know, it, it always puts you in a position to excel to a higher level if you get that win. You, know, you really want to know opposition as, as a prospect, but reaching that 50-50 level, you start winning those 50-50 fights, and that's where people start to take notice of you and demand that you get in those, you have those big fights, demand that the bigger name fighters start to fight you. And Mohammed told me he wants to fight anybody, he don't care who it is, he don't fight any champion right now, he don't care what, he just wants to fight. So when I called him about this fight, he was like, you know what, I don't care who it is, right now. Francis coming off a win back in October against previously unbeaten Jose Roman, who was 11-0, was at the Berkeley Center, right in his backyard in Brooklyn, eight-round unanimous decision victory. Mamoun, very upset that the fight a year ago did not go his way. It was a unanimous decision setback against 20 and 1 Tyrone McKenna, although some of the analysts that night, Roy, did not have the same scorecards as the judges. No, he definitely was robbed that night. Uh, I mean, I, I just, you know, it's not because he, he wasn't my fight at the time. I wasn't promoting at the time. And uh, he definitely got robbed that night. Made his debut in 2010. His first 14 fights were in his home country of France. I also like the fact that here at Pro Box, you're giving two guys an opportunity. One guy wants to fight the best fighter he can find. The other guy wants to fight the best fighter in the field, any champion he can find. So these two guys both won and they realize their age, they're conscious of their age, and they're ready to go. So it says a lot. This is going to be oh, good body shot. They got the cut there by Mamou also landed a right hook too. So they exchanged shots. Mm -hmm. See the France is a very good punch. Yeah, France has good great hand position, great, great fundamentals here. He keeps the shots short even on the counter. Very tall at super lightweight. Francis. Ooh, oh, again, the same uppercut. Time did again. That was a count, a count uppercut. Yeah. Off the move, off the move. Yeah, he's got him back. Boom. Yeah, he's a big shoulder. He knows how he's dancing around. He's showing he wants to fight. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. a guy, yeah. It was a flash knockdown where yeah. punch you didn't see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Big, broad shoulders on Caesar Francis. He's got more range. And even on the uppercut, a guy like this is going to have more range to find you. And he snuck it in there. But to be able to know that that round was close, could have went either way. Yeah. And he pulled that knockdown off to get an 8-8 uh, uh, round. Last few opponents were 21 and 1, 12 and 0, 30 and 2, 22 and 4, 21 and 0, 21 and 3. Roy, I can see why you believe in me now. He's a fighter, he doesn't he wants to break up. That's what he is. Right, Kelly? And that's the lucky one. Off of Sam Megan, he only bought Victor Postal in, 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 in a fight that I actually worked at. I remember, so you know, this is not, although Francis is a tall guy, Ramon has faced this kind of height and this kind of height disadvantage and has had even success against it. And you fought Sam Megan, 
Yeah. But he's an aggressive, like Eglinton is more of an aggressive uh, guy, so he's not going to use his height as, as much, and Ramu was able to outbox him. Right. Postal was more crafty, obviously, an ex-world champion, and uh, Ramu had less success. So I'm curious to see how the adjustments have been made in preparing for Cesar Francis. Well, I see Ramu on the tape, and Ramu got a jaw broken in round two of the fight. Four losses, Roy, has never been finished. And four of the, out of the four losses, I only say three of the two were losses. As we mentioned earlier. Sky TV analyst Matt Macklin said that at the end of that fight, the cleaner, harder shots were coming from Maroon. He's a clear winner. And uh, Maroon, as Roy mentioned, not happy at all with the way the scorecards were. So looking to get back to his winning ways here in our main event on ProBox TV. Maybe the new taking a different approach this round with a high bar, trying to walk down Francis. That's a good coach for the tall man, making play this time. And also possibly bothered him psychologically by staying on his face. Yeah. And put some pressure on him. But I've seen a shot that the new has thrown. It's that wicked right hook. And when Francis leaned with that right hand, he's available to get caught with that right hand. Like what Francis is doing, though, with tight up tight. Tight up tight. Right. 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 opening up a little bit of the, of the guard, keeping the moon busy and, and looking for the counter opportunity when the moon opens up off one of those touches. Yeah, a lot of times with Cesar Francis, he will look to lead, but he is a dangerous counter puncher, probably as you talked about. And he's so low. Yeah, and a lot of times when a guy touching like that, they're looking for counters. I used to do that a lot when I was fighting. If I was touching you, I was looking to draw something out of you so I could counter you. And you see that uh, Francis is looking for stuff like that. Okay. It's it, it No surprise that Francis's favorite fighter is Roberto Burrell. Yeah. I would say the most Panamanian fighter can tell you that. Well, that's exactly right. Big Tommy Hearns fan as well. Looking at, the, looking at his frame. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, I can tell you how exactly. This changes the geography a little bit in that round. You know, both landed some good shots in the round, but Mamoun changed the tempo of the fight a little bit in that round. And, 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 and I'm curious to see if he can continue to do that, because that kind of psychological play on the round is not fights. Staying in his face like that. Good back and forth at the end of that round. The Ramon landed a hook, had a body shot. He excused himself. Had Francis may yeah, not want to hear it, but Ramon excused himself. Once you start, you can't stop it. This fight shaping up to be a good one. Yes, it is. Yes, After that first round knockdown, I like the way Ramon rebounded in the second round and stayed in Francis' face. And both of these fighters look like, they, like they're in tremendous shape. Yeah, they are. They ain't leave much meat on the bone. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Man, the moon had to make way after. Last left hand yeah. on the moon. About an extra hour, right, Paulie? Yeah. Get from 144 to 142. That's the left hand landed by my moon just then. But Francis still does some smart things by constantly tapping. That's how you keep yourself busy and keep your momentum going. Francis was trained by his uncle Francisco back in Panama. Now his son Francisco Chico is his trainer. Cecil Francis came to the U.S. at age 12. The rough roads, Brooklyn. Yeah, I know, I know, I know Chico and the uncle. I know yeah. Gijo. <laughs> I know them both. I eh? grew up with, uh, around them in Gleason's Gym in New York. Carla, who you don't know in New York? That box. <laughs> I'm, I'm showing my age. Exactly. A lot of foot wrestling there, too. Guys stepping on each other's feet, which yeah. does happen for the lefty versus righty matchup. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So trainer-wise, he's in good hands, Francis, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of experience there. You got a good team. And they believe in him. Well, Muhammad has a lot of experience himself. 
fought for the French team for a long time. Uh, friends with a couple good fighters and has been in the gym with a couple good fighters for a long time. So he's game and he knows how to win. One thing about friends, he, he, I, I, I understand what he's doing here with the touches, trying to draw something out of him. But he needs to start also initiating a little bit too, like right there with that good body shot. Because you touch, touch, touch. Mamoun is not giving you anything in that. I mean, Mamoun is actually the one landing these shots. Yep. So you're going to have to start initiating some of it too, and then mix in the touches in between. If you keep it strictly touches, like that right hand is a good one too. If you keep it strictly touches, you're going to start to the guy's going to start to get your timing down. Especially he's not biting nice, right. nice left hand. And that's the right hook we've been talking about. And again, the geography of the fight changed around too. And it has stayed there. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, man. And these things do happen with lefties versus righties. Francis dove in with that body shot. It was definitely Fresh accidental, but, but it looked like he's swelling. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He said, let's go. Keep it going. Final 30 seconds of round number three. Francis is staying on that body attack now. There he is. Good defense. Ooh. Good hook on the man. Starting with the right hand. hand. This is a good fight, I tell you that. See, Mamone is fighting out of his defense right now. He's blocking most of that stuff, and then he's countering. But he's looking. For Francis to open up, that was the hook. Low blow. Oh, we got ourselves a fight! <laughs> nice round. Very nice round. Man. I'm wondering if the, the body attack for Francis is investing in the Face again, there's a guy with nine pro fights only. Mamoun coming on now. Well, and, and Antonio Mamoun is known for being a slow starter, if you will, but a calculator early to see what he's up against. And now he's starting to score. It looks like he has a real good feel of Francis right now, and he's starting to get busy first instead of reacting. Good combination by Francis. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Good punch selection. See right there. I think Mamoun waits a little bit too long. And he allows Francis to be the first one, and then he takes... Oh, oh. a big shot! Oh. 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 He's looking oh. to finish it right here, right now! Same time they threw. Wow! Mamoun landed first. 
What a shot. Evens up that lockdown. But he got to be careful. But I'm running on that crazy. He's running crazy. I think Mamou, he's feeling it. Yeah, he that kind of left. Oh, what is on. the referee doing? He wasn't waiting in the neutral oh, corner. He wasn't in the neutral corner. You got to be careful. You're not running down. Now he's he exactly. oh, He got to get out of there. Oh, oh, oh. the moon. That's a slip. He's hurt still. Yeah, but the referee got to be He's hurt. But Mamoon got to be careful, though. Mamoon just got to place these shots. Take your the time. Yeah, you got to be careful. Take your time and place them. Punch yourself out. There you, there you go. Take your time and place them. Don't, don't punch Francis. yourself out. Francis staying calm. Oh! I'm saying, you got to be really careful here. Right, right in front right of us. Francis, Francis is still there. Yeah, Francis is still there. I'm saying, you got to be careful, though. Francis punch himself out. Right? Oh, good shot. He hurt, guys. Ten seconds on the clock. You got to be careful. He's still good luck. Anybody can knock somebody out right here. Yeah. Good body shot. Now, if you don't get him out of here, how much? That's what I'm saying. Now, he really he now to himself yeah, out. Exactly. And the crowd oh. to this one now. What a round! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, they both threw at the same time. Mamoon landed first. I'm, I'm curious for this replay. Francis had a punch on the way. Mamoon landed first. They both, they both detonated their shots at the same time. But Mamoon was shorter and landed first. You're going to notice this on the replay. I'll tell you what Francis should be doing in between these little touches. He should be fainting either with his yep. feet or with his shoulders. Should be fainting. Should be drawing stuff out of the moon because just the touching is not drawing the traps out of the moon. It's not getting the reaction that he wants out of the moon. Maybe dropping a, a little leg faint or a foot faint or something in between these touches. The only dangerous thing from the moon right here though is that he's going from stop to go and Francis is already in motion. So sometimes a guy like that can beat you to the punch because he puts his body movements out of the yeah, we're gonna stop the goal. Oh, it's off again. Another counter right and a big left hand. He put in there. Flurry here. Punch got right. It's right now. Francis still yeah, there. Still there. You gotta be careful. It's that counter shot. Yeah, the shot by the moon. You gotta be careful though. Francis 9 and 0. The moon, four losses, but has never been stopped. What a fight. Man, if, if Francis can survive this somehow, yep. and this, he's going to be, yeah, he's going to learn from this fight. Yep. And I'll tell you, Mamoun keeps timing Francis because Francis is not fainting in between these touches, man. You, you can tell when he's still loading up because he gives a hitch a little bit when he's going to load up his shot and when it's not one of these touches. So Mamoun is able to time it. He's got to faint in between all these touches. Mamoun is conserving a lot of energy fighting like this. He's walking him down. He's not really utilizing a lot of his conditioning. He's setting up for that right kind of again. Oh, that was a very low blow. Extremely low blow. That was, well that was true that Vince Vargas type blow. Oh, take it five minutes, see? Right here. Take the point. He can be too smart. He can be too tough for his own good. Take your time, bro. I think you think, think Francis is the beginning of the title. He don't want to let him in. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. 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 Francis may have needed the... He don't want to take the five minutes. Let him fight. Yeah. And Francis may need the break more than Mamoun. I tell you what, Francis just gave back the extra point he got. Yep, yep. Yeah, that round for the knockdown. Well, he already did it, but it was a knockdown himself. That's true. <laughs> I ain't give an extra one back just for, just for principle. Antonio 
Cesar Francis's stance is, is not normal, quote unquote. A little different, isn't it? Yeah, he's kind of looks straight up, but he, yeah, he's shoulder width. He's shoulder width. He's not really too wide with his stance. I think he has a beautiful stance. Oh. Uh oh. A lot of different versions of beautiful, right, Antonio? Yeah, Mamo, I think Mamon thought he got fired. He did, he did, he did. Oh, what was it? He thought it was low blow. Low blow, okay. What a fight we got here, y'all. Yeah. So then, yeah, this is what I like to see. They had shot to the matchmaker. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You back? You back now? 
Yeah, I think uh, Mamoun knows he, he needs a big convincing round in order to hold tight in this race. Yeah. Visible swelling on the left side of the face of Muhammad Mamoun. Antonio, you, you talked about it. How does that affect you when you know you have an injury that severe? I mean, if this, if this jaw is broken right now, the pain that he's feeling every time he moves, every time he catches a punch, it's excruciating. You know, quitting in my mind for a split second. But then I realized that it wasn't in me. And you know what? After surviving that 12th round, I knew then I had everything in, in me to be a champion. Roy, does it force you to, to change your attack, change your style, yes, because it. you're protecting it? Yes, it does. It forces you to change your style, not throw as many punches, because you want to keep your hands at home to not get caught in that jaw again, you know? And that injury could do that. Yeah. The moon is getting inside of Francis, but he's not throwing that right hook that he had success with earlier. Yeah. I think he needs to go back to that. But give credit to Francis for making the adjustment. You see the bounce in his, in his step a little bit, and he's able to change the angle. The moon is not, the moon has changed his style since the first round. He doesn't punch unless he's planted. So if Francis stays planted, the moon is able to have success. If Francis gives that little bounce and changes angles, it's Francis who's able to have more success. Moon got to get down if he throws that left hand. Your left hand is staying straight up over here. That's very dangerous. But Francis is a really good puncher. Oh, there it is. Great counter by Muhammad Mamoun. What was interesting about that counter, the hook kept Francis from getting away, yep. and then it kept him there for the left uppercut. Because Francis was trying to escape. I was thinking, they tell you to move to your left against the southpaw, but when, when the southpaw has a hook, good hook like Muhammad Mamoun, you'll be walking into it. Right. <laughs> and he'll move you back into the left hand as he did about 25 seconds ago. I still, I still think that, that that right hook is his best weapon, but I think he needs to throw that left hand first, like that, and then blind him. Oh, a good shot. Speaking of right hands, Francis answered that one. Yeah, Francis Long. You seem like you're on the way, but you're not, because right. you don't really seem like you is. Add in the injury, the, the, the jaw is definitely messed up, and, and Roy talked about how he's keeping that left hand pinned as much as possible in the defensive style. Still, though, was able to get some combinations, Roy, late in that round. Yeah, that's a good punch late in that round. Good fight, good fight, good round. Good fight. Man, it's a close fight. <laughs> 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 Great man, you back. A lot of night of fights we've had. And like you said, I've been flows, you know, it's, it's been a lot of changes in momentum and even adjustments made by the fighters and the corners. <laughs> Moon might have taken the big shot from Francis very early in the fight, guys. Yeah. Could this be what? Yeah, that might have been. That might have worked. That was a knockdown. Yeah, that was a knockdown. Yeah, that might have worked. You know what he had his mouth open a little bit. Yeah, yeah I saw his whole mouth. Yeah, he kind of turned his head that way, too. That angle. That was that knockdown where his glove touch. It was a great move. Great job by great job by our guys in the in the tape and in production. So strange. I always bit down when I threw a punch. It's so strange. <laughs> I don't know, it came naturally to me. I don't know, it's so strange. <laughs> Gotta make sure he doesn't bite down when he goes. Oh, oh! Left hand sharp walked. Francis walked right into it there. Francis still did more to the body though. It's a very small thing. First time in round nine in the professional career. Uh, Cesar Francis. I tell you, the frustrating thing about Francis is, you know, I feel like he could throw a third and a fourth punch to those shots. He throws it nice and short and compact, so which, and he's balanced, he stays balanced, which, which is what you need to continue the combination. And Mamoun a lot of times keeps his gloves at home, so you can continue the combination, but Francis just doesn't go past one or two hard punches in a row. That was the one that you Yep, and you're making, you're making Mamoun keep his hands home with those short taps. Antonio, turn the table a little bit. You know, as Roy talked about, that it was on the jaw. If you know your opponent has got a busted up jaw, as we know the moon does, do you go and attack it? Do you set things up from that? Well, I'm sure uh, Francis is trying, but the moon right now has good defense. He has his hands high. He knows he's injured. He's not letting the guy know how hurt he is. I mean, here's a man that's focused, and he's in this fight to win it. 
and it takes a hell of a heart to go with a broken jump in a big fight like Especially this. to come forward, especially to come forward and make the fight, which is, which, which is the way Maroon has to fight in order to win the fight. Which and, and and or, if it happened in round number one, yep. <laughs> wow. Judges are going to have a tough job scoring this one. A lot of guys would have packed their bags after that little time. Knocked down. down. And he'll do that. He'll do that. There's a flurry from Francis. And that flurry allowed him to finish with a hook. It was a scoring shot. And there was really no power on the first three. But that last shot hurt. A low blow game. But that one, that one, that one pushed his head down on the hook. He did. The moon is nicknamed the problem. He doesn't have a problem dealing with blow shots, busting up jaw. He's just headbutts. I'll tell you, with the swelling on the face of the moon, he, that, that beard might be protection oh. from the referee and the doctor. Oh, oh wow. Shots by the moon as Francis tried to get out. The moon has done a good job of catching Francis on the, on the exit because Francis stays up a little too high. Oh, the shots by Francis there. Final seconds of round nine. You can see the experience when we're playing for a factor in here. You can't run to the shot, though. He gets the points back every time he runs. You can't run to the shot with Francis. Mm -hmm. You see how he understands if he takes a shot that he's got to get the points back. He gets right back to Francis' face. He doesn't let him enjoy the little, the little moments of success. He tried to take it away from him. It's like, why don't you throw punches back on top of him? You can see the difference in experience there because, you know, Turn it over and there's another great song. 
It's the other A side. <laughs> the, crowd, the crowd has been loud in this place, man. Yeah, they have. They loved every minute of this fight. They've got their money for it, yes. Not a bad seat in the house, baby. You got that right. Francis, be careful. No one has to be careful. Francis looking for that same kind of right. Of course. Right. Of course he will. Good shot. You need more of that. Keep it up. What a spectacular main event showcase. No blow up here. Oh, good oh. close. Good left hand. Good they go oh. the distance. What a right. fight. Great fight. Yes, wow. They both very good. The move that she won. Good close to the 10th round from the moon. Was it enough to eat the last round? I think the last round could come into bay into play yeah. in the final decision. This fight is close. That was a good fight. And, uh, and don't, don't forget way. that there was the point deduction earlier, too. Yeah, and that extra point. Yeah, because two knockdowns, they both lost the point. But that Goldie, the point Goldie just made really comes into factor here. Uh, Francis lost an extra point because of the foul. One yeah. thing Tony said to here was, the guys performing like this, it to be right back. Yeah, we want to see these guys again, exactly. And this is what we, this is what we push here at Provost. Good fighters and great fights. And we want to keep bringing those good fighters and great fights and keep bringing them back regardless of the result because that's the entertainment value that brings fans to the fights, brings fans to the TV sets, to their electronic, whatever they have, and watch, watch us on, uh, on the Provost app on when it launches and uh, keeps us entertaining. Just got a chance to fight a guy, see a guy fight now. I didn't steer you wrong. That was a barn burner. That was a 50-50 fight, and both men deserve applause right now. I also told you that pro box fighters are aggressive. You guys keep coming, and we're going to keep giving you this. All right? All right. Decision is as follows. Michael Ross scores at 94-93. Joanne Richard, 95-92. Brian Gary, 95-92. And your winner, unanimous decision, Setzer Francis! No, Francis. The Rain Man. Rough. Francis? Mohamed Mahmoud, you fought a great fight. Thanks for coming to Florida. <laughs> Setzer Francis, he really by no, unanimous decision. But no, the referee raised the wrong guy's hand. The, 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 there we go. Uh oh. The referee messed up. And, and Paul the Moon. He said it right. And Paul the Moon. He said it right. Paul the Moon. Yeah, the referee messed up because Paul the Moon doesn't understand English. He doesn't understand English. He doesn't understand English. Yeah. So when the referee raised his hand, he thought he won the fight. But the referee raised the wrong yep. hand. And because the Moon doesn't understand English, not understanding the official announcement. He thought yeah, he hurt right now. He, he, he hurt, man. He hurt right now. He, he thought he was rewarded the fight. Yeah. Because the referee raised his hand. And I had a feeling both guys were going to. I had a feeling both guys were going to feel like they won the fight. So whoever loses was gonna feel like he got robbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was Cesar Francis the thinking? Referee, all broke. The referee messed up. The referee messed up. 
Roy talking to me. your hand at Lake Muhammad Malou. The referee, the referee called his name. You know what I'm saying? The referee, the referee did Roy. Yeah. Little explanation from the moon, who obviously English is not his first language, so he needs the explanation. Yeah. When he hears the announcement, he doesn't really understand it. All he knows is the referee being having his hand raised, right. and so he thinks, okay, I won the fight. He didn't hear. Yeah. He doesn't understand the announcement, but he understands the referee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he don't understand the announcement. What you do understand is when the referee raises your hand. Gotcha. You know? so, and so he's thinking he won the fight. The referee raises his hand because the referee misunderstood the official announcement. Panama in his blood, Brooklyn in his heart, and the biggest win of Cesar Francis's career. He moves to 10-0 in his first 10-round fight. Never a dull moment at a pro box show. Yeah, he's got that right. Yeah, you guys aren't going anywhere for good reason. That's because we got more fights coming up. Pro box, baby. We bring the heat, we bring the aggression because it's about fighting. Great fight. Yeah, we are. Great yeah, yeah. That's why we say, here we go. It's time to fight. What a great set of matchups tonight on our Contenders Series. We started with Josiah Shirley and Giovanni Bennett. And both men were able to throw it down. And then you see some highlights from this main event of the evening and what a main event it was. Going into the 10th, both men let it all rip. Cesar Francis by unanimous decision.